Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the Kennel and Arrow podcast. To those who are hoping I wouldn't come back, bad news, I'm back. Spent a couple of weeks in Japan spreading the gospel, as uh, my co-host Diba was saying. Uh, and now I'm back to cause some more terror. Today we've got a full show and a full cast. So I've got my trusty, reliable Dibo who held down the ranks while I was gone. How you going, Dibo? Good, mate. Good. I mean, I was going for the comments. You know, there's a guy called Gangstalicious. <laughs> and another guy called Ibi, I think. And, you know, just oh, lay mate. off him, guys. <laughs> and uh, we've got the great Omar Slam and Kill back with us again. We've missed you, bro. How you been? Good to be back. I've Welcome been away, back. actually. I haven't watched too much footy. But I did catch a full round on the weekend. Good magic round, eh? You can't miss magic good. round. And Papa Sua, Brendan, we got him back again. <laughs> it's good to be back. I'm happy to be back. Boys. Sorry, yeah, Bre me. Brendan might be a little bit nervous tonight because obviously he's in the presence. <laughs> uh, but do you know what? 10, 20 minutes in, we'll find, he'll find his own. Uh, Brendan had some uh, cosmetic uh, enhancements with us uh, this week as well. Smile straight, down the <laughs> straight down the lens. <laughs> Oh, it's good to have you boys. Good to have you boys. So, uh, I hope everybody's watched uh, the doggies and Raiders uh, and on uh, last week on Friday because uh, I'm about to rip in a little bit. Um, so we lost this game thirty to thirty four, um, <laughs> and I think the doggies were lucky uh, to even get that close. I think a couple of calls went our way. Uh, you know, then Arrow came out throughout the week and said that there were two tries that were taken off the Raiders. They shouldn't have been taken off them. And I think that's that's probably a fair reflection of uh, of the game. Uh, both Cameron Seraldo and Phil Good have come out throughout the week and say, while well, it wasn't our biggest loss, probably was our most disappointing. And to be honest, I, I, as a Bulldogs fan, um, that was probably one of the most frustrating games to watch. Like I know we got done, you know, by fifty against the Rabbits and then by thirty against the Eels, but I wasn't as disappointed as this game. I thought our forwards, you know, particularly uh, Raymond Fatal and Mariner, were non-existent. Um, I know some boys are playing with injuries, um, but it's unacceptable. I thought Franklin Pelé had a good comeback, which was good to see. But we've got to be better against the bigger rugby league teams, against the bigger forward packs. We really, really have are to you be better. About the performance just recently passed. Or? Yeah, against the Raiders. I reckon, I reckon they played good the second half. The first half, I think they were really off at that game. The, their, their ball control was poor. I mean, I don't know. Canberra weren't as flash hot as everyone expected them to be. I know there was a few clangers. Um, but Tox could have stole it at the end. But Jordan Rapana, I mean, he takes some screamers. He's, yeah. he's catching. He's unbelievable. Yeah, but, I mean, you know you're in for a bad night when they score on the first set. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, right. uh, Declan Casey <clears throat> and Paul Alamotti, I mean, that's that's probably a coaching issue as well. Mm. Like, for him to put Alamotti, a 19-year-old, and Declan Casey on the same wing, they're 21. I know we're short on troops, but, you know, it's it's... It's very disappointing as a Dogs fan to start that game, be excited to see them, yeah. you know, put in a good performance and then the first minute in, I know, I know, latest score. I know fans are very critical. Um, they want results straight away. I know you just want to probably make the finals this year. Um, I mean, look at the bigger picture. It's probably better if players like Alamotti get their run in first grade and um, basically uh, develop. He's only 19. He'll be there for another decade. He is going to miss those tackles, um, but he will, be, he will be better for it. He's not going to improve just playing in the reserves. Oh. He's going to be thrown in the deep end. To, to be honest, my, my thoughts on, on Alamotti is that I think he's probably a little underdone. I think he may need to go back to reserve grade for, a, you know, maybe for the rest of the year. You know, if Burns was injured, I'd have, um, I'd have, uh, I'd have Kiraz, Avarillo, Burns and Fox. With Perham at the back. Are you saying Alamotti should have more experience at the young... Uh, at, more game time. At New South Wales Cup? Or? Yeah, I, I think he needs to go back and fix some of those defensive issues that he seems to have week in, week out. He needs to go back to and, the farm yeah. league. Look, I, I know I am yeah. being critical as a fan, but that game for me was very difficult to watch. And we were only marginally better than what we were last year under Barrett, which is, you know, I know we've had a massive crisis injury. <sighs> no. But I look, we're look we're, we're, this is round 11, right? We're round 11. We've only won four games, right? Yeah. We've lost six. <clears throat> um, our attack is, is a little bit better, but our defense isn't, mm, Yeah. right? And I know, it, you know, we're early into a five-year plan, but as a Dogs fan, as, as a diehard Bulldogs fan that absolutely looks forward to the game every single week, sits there, you know, watching and sort of taking account into everything, we, we, we it, there's got to be a lot more 
shown. Like, for example, you look at other teams that have ha- also had injuries. You look at the Dolphins. You look at even the Warriors. Um, there, there are other teams that have had m- big injury crises. Were you expecting to win this game, Bob? Were you actually expecting to win this game? Or I was it? expecting us to go out there and play like we wanted to win. Because you just weren't fair. I don't know if you saw oh, It doesn't oh, matter yeah. whether we're oh, fair or not. I mean, I thought some players put in great effort. I mean, there was Jacob Curias on one leg. Um, he wanted it so bad. Um, I thought Avrilo again is is playing unbelievable. Like he's just. Scoring. I think he's I a lot he's better than it, last yeah. year. I know you're being highly critical. I mean, you got Jacob Preston. I I put on the TV. I watched his guy. I think yeah, he's in his sixth year of first grade, second year of rep footy, and then you see career games is ten, and you just sit there and think, wow, he can also be the club captain at this stage. Avril- you guys are uh, no what? Jacob Preston. Oh, the, you the guys yeah, are yeah, a yeah, lot better than you were last year. He's got the personnel. He's got a lot of growth happening. Um, some of those other teams with injuries, um, they won't improve much next year, whereas Canterbury, they're going to improve immensely by next year. I mean, if they don't make the eight next year, then you probably would turf out the coach because his roster is... Who's, ev- who's going to make it for them? They got, they got, look, they got Crichton coming next year. Okay. Their forwards will be more experienced. They've got a lot of young forwards. They're already making inroads. Listen, I don't think they'll make the eight this year. And not next year they either? They'll make it next year. <laughs> you're saying that next year? And um, <laughs> they'll <laughs> probably not make it the year after. So you're saying... Why do you wow, say that? Wow, what do you say That's that? a very hard critical Whoa, but Honestly, there's about 10 players in that team that probably won't walk into any other NRL side. Yeah, but that, they won't... Look, so, out of those 10 players you're talking, a few of them won't be there next year or they won't get a run. The year after that, half of them won't be there. There's 10 of their starting 13 that won't walk. Into but they got NRL extensive side. injuries. Who might walk into an NRL side? You talk about someone like a Rabbitohs or someone like a Broncos. We're, name we're other not, than maybe Jacob Keraz, yeah. who's playing really well. Um, there's probably no one else that's a walk in to Tavita any of Bangor? those teams. A lot of clubs love love oh, to have Tavita. Stop, Tavita. Tavita. Bring yeah, money. Can I, can I, uh, can Max Le- Jean, come on. No, 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 let him go. Where, 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 oh, shit. When's, oh, Tavita, when's, Tavita had, when's the last time Tavita's had a good game? I'm actually. I know he's been. He's had a lot of injuries, and I I do feel for the bloke. He offers. But, uh, look, he brings a lot of. Energy I remember. On. I remember him scoring a five meter try. We he ran really hard at Penrith, but I haven't seen him play a good game since. Oh, that's right. unfortunate to say for someone that's got so much potential. I know. He's pun- come out all guns blazing. <laughs> this <laughs> fella. No, I'm actually being serious. The holidays but, comes out all guns. No, I mean, no, but being serious, like you guys putting so much pressure on a club that actually doesn't have the personnel to do anything. Like they, they're not a top eight side. They're definitely not a top eight side. You don't think they'll be there year. next year? I mean, uh, what with Crichton? I mean, where's their forward pack? They, got, they need- uh, I mentioned Preston. Hey, come on, you tell me. But Preston. Preston's already here this year. I'm talking about a team, but he's only played ten you're, games. You're waiting. But there's only been eleven games this year, hasn't? No, there? but I'm saying in his career. Right, he's very young in his career. Also, if he plays another ten games, he's going to take the I side to the top eight. I'm not, I'm not saying he's going to take it to the top eight. I'm saying next year they won't make the top Look, eight next my, year. Th- who's your halfbacks? This is where. This who's is your halfback? This is the problem that no, I have. Who's your halfbacks? Hang on, we've got. I think Canterbury uh, fans, Omer's laying the no, laying it's, it's, it's it out. not about. It's not he about. He could probably be onto something here. He might be onto something. <laughs> it's here. not about laying the law, but what I'm saying is you need a very strong forward pack to make the top eight. Firstly, secondly, you need very good halfbacks. I still don't think Burden's a 5-8. I reckon he's an amazing center. Um, he could potentially be a really good 5-8, but the 7 needs to be world-class level. Right. Uh, that's why Clary obviously took him so far in that Penrith side. And if you look at the good games he's that he did something. play, he's, he's played something. some really yeah. good games at Dogs, and the only time he's played really well is when the Dogs have been on the front foot. So if you don't give him the forward pack to do that, it's going to be very hard for a player of his caliber to do that. But much. he's earned some Danny M points, though. No, but you know what? I, you know why I agree they with always you? Give it to the losing I'll side tell you what's happening with the, la- with the team over the last two or three weeks is when we've got rid of Flanagan and brought Reynolds in. You guys lost two more This needs a right? coffee. Um, <laughs> we brought Reynolds in, right? And instead of keeping Reynolds there for the 80... Reynolds should have stayed in England. Where was he? Oh, he was in England. He was in England. Yeah, would have been no, but, but now hear me out, right? We brought Reynolds in, right, to replace. Uh, I'm not Carl disagreeing, man. I'm actually <laughs> loving it. Burn at seven. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you got you got Carlo <laughs> Radja playing great football. You got Carl Wapu as well. Right? You're well. not going to make the top eight. So whoever's their guys in charge at the Dogs team should be like, listen. What is the point in bringing someone like Josh Reynolds? You're not making the top eight. You're I definitely totally not, agree. You're, you're definitely not winning the comp. You know what I agree. Last week? And he agrees with you. I think majority will agree with that. It's just those grubby fans disagree with you. It's not, look, it's not about it's not disagreeing. It's not about disagreeing. It's just, you just got to see where the club wants to no, go exactly. in football. No, hang on a second. Look at someone like Brisbane, yeah? They got to grow. They got, Brisbane Broncos have been struggling for a while now. 
They went and targeted a few very, very good players that would be very influential. Dogs had every right to go and get Adam Reynolds. They decided not even to They went offer after him. Ben Hunt. They almost got him. That's fine, but they decided not to go after Adam Reynolds, who's probably the best Hines. halfback in the comp at the moment. Nico Hines, of course. So you've got to think they, uh, uh, they've made some very <coughs> bad decisions, and the decisions they have made, unfortunately, they have to live with for, for a while But Sean now. Johnson, isn't he off contract? He is. But hang on, let me just say something, right? What, what I think is also affecting the Bulldogs quite heavily, not only in their attack, but also the defensive structure, is that we don't have a consistent six and seven pairing for the 80 minutes. When you start Reynolds at six, and then you take him off and you bring Aluapu in there at six, who's inexperienced and you're chopping and changing your halves, it, it ruins your attack, but it also ruins your defensive structure, right? And I think that's affecting the team, right? They need to, if you're gonna pick, pick Reynolds at six, Keep him at six. You reckon? He's not going to really... For the 80 minutes. Play. He's, not gonna play any, he's probably not playing beyond this year. Someone like Soraldo is obviously looking for some wins. It's his first year as a coach. Uh, he's a little bit nervous. He's come from a team that's won every single game for the last three years. Yeah, exactly. So he's obviously looking for a win doesn't here. Doesn't want to be there. another and Barrett. He, and he does feel like that no, Josh Reynolds know. would have been able to provide that more than someone like um, Rajab Ka and Aloapu, whatever, what's his name? Yeah, Carl Aloapu and Carl Rajab. Yeah, um, and I feel like that's probably why those decisions were made. Um, but someone a, a lot higher that's actually gone out and put faith in Soraldo needs to tell him, hey, listen, we genuinely don't care if you win these games, um, but or over not. the next two three years, we we want to be top eight team. Um, if he doesn't have that confidence, then unfortunately he's going to make some decisions like he did on the weekend and I think that Reynolds so, half wouldn't have been so what do you think, uh, they should play a bit oh, sorry go on I was just I was after what Omar was saying what do you think Abs do you agree with what you're saying I, I think he he's now put there. another two years at yeah, least two before years he's the finals as a big world I can fan. see the, I can see the merit in what he's saying I know it sounds yeah. harsh I just think well, that you look at, they could probably crack the You look at the year. Tigers, they came nine for the last 10 years, right? And they've been, <laughs> they've awful. Gone they've been awful this year. So there's, I don't know which club is happy for their team to make the eight and they're not really even contending to be worth it for How do you see abs? shots. Look, I'll be honest with you. I think the last week we went backwards, right? The, the win against the Dragons really was just, it was more of a display as, as on how bad the dragons are as yeah. opposed to how good the they're woeful. Are. That's the what I. That's my honest opinion. I feel like the injury crisis hasn't helped us in any way, but I can't. We can't keep using that as an excuse. We've blooded a lot of juniors, and Seraldo's had time to build some systems for the team to be able to use. Um, who we have, you know, next man up mentality, next man up mentality. Do I agree with Omar that we're, it's going to take us two to three years to get to the eight? I don't. Do I think we can make the eight this year? I still do believe we can make the eight this year. What about year. the pairing? That's awful. Well, how are you going to make the eight this year? I think we can. Come on, bro. Don't say that as a doggies fan. You're I'm not, not saying making it as the a eight, man. You know, you guys, <sighs> listen, you guys are very lucky that Averello's in the form he is because yeah, if he isn't away. even in that form he is, oh, you guys are losing most games by 40, tries. 50 he's points at great, the yeah. moment. You wow. guys got certain individuals that are literally carrying the whole side. Um, they're very good players. But yeah. as a 13, forget about a 17. You don't. I don't even think you have 17 great players. But as a 13 for a team, you guys are... I'll name eight teams that you guys aren't even close to. Brisbane, Rabbits, Eels... Um, Roosters, it was a struggling Broncos, but going, yep. Storm, Cronulla. Uh, well, there's probably another Reagan couple Dolphins. that I've missed out. Obviously not Canberra either. Dolphins definitely not. Like that's nine teams that you guys won't outplay on any good day. All right, so oh, we lost to the Raiders by four points. Should have been we played a lot more. horribly, and they so did they. I don't think they played as badly as you think. Take they away did. that first try, they played pretty awful, and they bombed like three or four chances as well. And so did we. That, but that's that, what I'm saying. Like no, for no, a I'm, game that wasn't really like I, I didn't even name Canberra and the nine teams that I just. What named. about Cowboys? Did you even name them? Yeah, they've they've been woeful them as well. They did to the Roosters on the weekend. They have been woeful. But the ro the Roosters have been very poor themselves. They're not losing to the Dogs. Well, well I mean, I'll say I'll say the difference is are they? They might. <sighs> not this year, but they hang might. on, hang on. There's hang no on. way the dogs Coffee's are down. The hang on a second. Hang Coffee's on a second. Down. Hang on a second. Are you, do you want to make a wager? Is that what you're saying? I don't bet. But no, it's not a bet. It's a wager. But I'm telling you right now, the dogs are not beating the roosters. Hey, we're going to come back the game after the dogs and roosters, and I'm telling you the dogs are going to win. The cop is up. I'll give you whatever you want. I'll give you the podcast, brother. Oh. The dogs are going to win <laughs> against the Roosters. <laughs> 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 Give the 
the podcast. He's like, 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 um, I am a realist when it comes to football. I understand what does win games and what doesn't win games. Um, at the moment, you guys are obviously lacking in, in some really key areas. But they're doing areas. better than last year, though. Of course they are, but they're lacking in some key areas, and on top of that, they don't have the players. And injuries didn't help. It's me, unfortunate. Like, yeah. But did they have their money? Did they have their money to spend on... Well, yeah. regardless of whether we have money, it's just uh, going to be more their, chopping and changing. Their salary cap mm. situation is really good now. They actually do have money to spend next year. They actually come out and said we have a lot of money to spend. So paying quite an who's off? Who you need some good players off contract for it? Do they need, do they get an experienced halfback? Because I know you touched on that subject. They're looking oh, at Reed apparently. Someone who? Like, the Cowboys half. Someone like Reynolds would have been great. Oh yeah, Dieden. Yeah, yeah Dieden. Sorry. Nah, no, he's a five eight. He's not a half. Who's this? Oh, Reed. Oh, Dieden. Oh, is he? But yeah, he can yeah. command. He's played halfback before. He can command the field. Look, they they try. Yeah, Dearden's good. They're trying, mold, the they're trying to mold. They're trying to mold Burden into a seven and Alo up into the Man, six. He kicks off his left foot. Like unless you guys all of a sudden change his legs around. It's, like, it's not a first bit. receiver. Well, I didn't see that. Yeah, and generally, play goes from from right to left. That's how a lot of the structured plays these days. It's most right to of left. them do. And if they don't, like you got to think he's always on that short side, kicking down the left hand corridor. It's going to be hard for him to go over to the uh, right well, up side. was a right-hand kicker, so unless they, they alternate sides and things like that, that could, that could potentially work. Look, ultimately, I, I obviously I'm not a you know I'm not a fatalist like you. I don't think that dogs are going to go as bad. Yeah, I'm critical, but I do think that you're um, being exactly. a little bit harsh. I'm sorry. He, no, no, he's, he's, what you he's actually <laughs> saying they will improve not yeah, as rapidly as what you yeah, think. Like, uh, so he's given them about like two you've to three actually, years. You've actually come out on this podcast right now as a dog's passionate lover mm. and said that they can make the eight this yeah, year. Yeah, I, I stand by that. I think you stood up by it from the start of I the year. Stand, I said that round by, one. When, yeah. do, when do we say? Oh, round 27. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I, mean, I can't what, wait for round 27. <laughs> forget about round 27. You, you, you That's might the be saying that in the round... A lot earlier than Oh, that. look, you, you might be because it might be mathematically impossible, but yeah. I don't think we're going to get there. But they've got I, a lot of injuries at the moment, don't you? The thing is, like, for example, today it was it was uh, Chris Patolo was announced. Who do the, they play this week? Uh, this week they're playing the Warriors. Oh, that's a good game. Second time this year. They should have won that first time. This time it's at home. Yeah, this time it's at home. Um, Warriors are very good at the moment. Oh, Warriors were very Finish. good when we won played a few them. games. They Adam, haven't had the refs. Adam Fanoa Blake has been... Has been since and the refs have been atrocious. And he changed his haircut lately. Yeah, so they've the been scheduling. complaining about the refs a lot. The scheduling's been atrocious. Three games in 11 days? Ridiculous. The Honestly, the that's monster. You know what? I don't get the NRL. So if you're not cheating and you get offended, then you're incompetent and you also get offended. So what are you? With the whole refing and the whole scheduling, what are you then? Yeah, it's very poor scheduling. They don't like being held accountable for, for honestly, all these screw-ups. So the refs are, are poor. And you point that out to them, they get offended. Yeah. They get the whole scheduling wrong. They get offended when you point that out. So, if he's are uh, if he's uh, aren't cheating and he's are uh, incompetent, then what are you? Own it. It's just ridiculous. And what warriors don't get the rub of the grant. A lot. It's literally, if you look at it, for the last maybe seven, eight, ten years, yeah. it's literally the same size every year. Get the poor refereeing decisions, get the bad scheduling, and it's the same. Literally, five, six, seven teams that get the rub of the green every, of everything. So, what's going on? It's the NRL is obviously it's very top heavy. It's, it's very, like it's, it's like are, are they all fanboys involved on the NRL board? So one guy puts his Roosters team forward, the other one puts his Souths team forward, and the other guy puts his Brisbane team forward, and the other guy puts his Melbourne team forward, and, and etc. Because that's what it seems like. It seems like they get the rub of the green for the scheduling. And the rubber, the green for the decisions and which refs they get. So I just love Abs uh, sticking by his team. <clears throat> Look, I, I stick by the team. This, this podcast can be uh, can, can possibly be getting remodeled next week to Omar Lamanku's <laughs> podcast, <laughs> <laughs> or whenever they play the Roosters, no, or whenever they play. <laughs> his hand was in his pocket. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh no! Just, hey, I reached out. Just, you didn't just, reach out fast enough. Yeah, yeah. You didn't reach out fast enough. My mind was right here. Yeah. 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 That's my honest, my honest opinion. I don't think Perim. Because he missed a couple of bombs that day. It's, it's not about missing the bombs. I think. Be quiet, fullback. 
He's not just like he doesn't offer the zip zip he, and the X factor. He's, and he's too. He doesn't he's, link up in attack. He's neither does someone like Edwards, but Edwards just does a really really. He's just got a high work rate. But uh, but Edwards is always there for the last pass. He's always there. For he's the, always yeah. there for the last pass. Some tough carries. Well. Perham, like mm. you, you will never find. Edwards lacking. He's doing averaging two hundred fifty, three hundred no, meters a game. Look, I just want to point don't out. Need to be that little. Can I? Can I point out? So no, 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 no you don't have to. I be. just want to see Edwards in that Canterbury side. So I know sometimes Hayes does cop a lot of stick, but <laughs> remember, Chuck, remember the good old days when you had a fullback like Luke Patton. Didn't, the, wasn't classy, but just the general. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Did you miss him? That, that's no, yeah, the about, general. He's about seven. Oh, just sorry. I'm taking it. Yeah, the general. The general was incredible, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's um, yeah. Look, I, I'm I'm expecting a lot, a, a much better. What's happening with Ockenbot? Is he still injured or is he just not? playing? Ockenbot was an injury. He played last nah, week. Yeah, 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 he's a very yeah. good man. Anyway. We'll get him on soon. We're good. Uh, but I got a young star coming on soon. Um, from Manly top thirty, it'll be good. Can't wait to have him. Yeah, yeah looking yeah, forward to it. Never. Um, just tell him to stay over the show. Oh um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> He's telling you what? To what? <laughs> Tell him to stay over the show. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, guys. Sorry. Hey, you know what? I'll finish off with this. The dogs will come good. You it's can't just, do that. It's just <laughs> going to take some time, and it might take a lot longer than a year. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Captain Obvious. We didn't, yeah, we needed to oh, no, yeah, do that. Yeah, they're in the top eight, but. Yeah, I'll do have them in oh, the top eight. That's all right. Yeah, they'll, they'll make the top eight this year. They're on the improve, yeah, but I'm a reckon. Inshallah. La la la. I just want to know. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I just want to know where you got your. What are you on for? This is the same holiday. Just saying. Sorry. I've been on a six-week holiday. Yeah, I know. Six-week holidays. Wow. We spreading the word overseas about rugby league. No, I'm trying. What an intro, gospel. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna calm it down for a while. I'll see you, I'll see you guys. At, well, oh, that's a good game actually. What do you guys think of Magic Round? Oh, a lot of magic. Oh, yeah. look, honestly, I know was. I know it gets a lot of positive word, Brisbane, but honestly, that was just flat. Change of location. I'm over seeing. Listen, the first two days was really good. Yeah, but the third the field stretch, the field struggles. falls apart. Oh, the, by the time it was a, it was a... I, it doesn't it feels like the magic's worn off. It just feels like you just gone to Brisbane. Um, it feels like all the cheapskates from Sydney have gone up there looking for cheap crafted beer. I mean, take it somewhere different. Take it in New Zealand. I thought Perth would be a good Perth idea. Would be oh, good. Perth would be incredible. Maybe down the track, take it to Singapore. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. I you mean, really you think got, a magic round Abu Dhabi would there. get... I honestly think the whole NRL should like go for round one and do it all over there and then have a week off and then start. Going going I, didn't, I didn't mind Las Vegas, Vegas idea either. I just, apparently they've got the green light for that. Look, honestly, it just I feels feel like, like Abu Dhabi would be a lot better than It just feels Vegas like the NRL supporter base is just... The soccer, you know, the boxing, the... the the UFC. It's definitely out, it's definitely like, out on the way up. You yeah, know, they got to look for a new market. It just feels like our. I touched on it before. The market's just those types that look for cheap crafted beer. I mean, I mean, look for a new market, guys. Honestly, in our they got to Perth first. They got to go to Perth. First. I reckon they have to go to New Zealand first. I but, think the magic count should be New Zealand. But they tried that with the nines. They did um, Auckland nines. Remember? How did that go? It was unreal. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, oh, yeah, really you played good. it, didn't you? Yeah, Auckland 9 was awesome. Oh, awesome. I think uh, Magic Sound. How was that? He dislocated like, his finger, if you remember. Oh, oh yeah. Asking him how was that or you're rubbing it in. That was in the last game. Yeah. We did all right. But um, Auckland, uh, New Zealand used to have a thing called the Wellington Sevens. Yeah. It used to just go crazy for three days. So if they can kind of oh. mimic that, that would be unbelievable. It would be such a festival Everyone atmosphere. Up. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, remember amazing. that? You know what? Hong Kong. Yeah, like Hong Kong Sevens. Hong Kong. As a kid, yeah, that that's big. Wellington Sevens. Very similar. Wellington was bigger. <clears throat> but uh, look, rugby rugby and rugby league are a bit different, I think. But they will go to it. You take it to Hong I think, Kong. I think if you're gonna if you're going to take it out of Brisbane, you've got to take it to somewhere that's going to – Amplify the game. rugby league and the game, as opposed to taking it to a whole new area that I don't think will I, have much. I honestly benefit. I don't know. I think I honestly Perth, reckon, yeah, New Zealand, um, even Victoria. Honestly, I, I even think uh, Magic Round in Victoria will do well. Uh, they love their footy there, and just to continue to you know to, to push rugby league in Victoria because they're talking about possibly a second team in Victoria, which I think is stupid. Um, no, not yet. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's getting played a lot there enough, now. There's not enough good players to cover 17 teams at the moment, let alone an 18. I don't know, man. I think the 17th team has come in, and I think gave, gave a lot of the run. 17th teams come in. I'm talking about players 18. in general. If you look at 17 teams together, 
the difference between like the top and bottom is pretty big at the moment. Oh, huge! It got it, got, it reminded me of the nineties again. But it I got, also think there's you a can coaching on paper. I used to be able to point out which games your to side be honest, was going. Honest, there's not even, there's not even yeah. a it's seventeen good coaches. The, 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 I think there's more of a coaching and Shortage. financial um, gap in how much they spend on the football department, how much they, the, what, what kind of coaches they have, as opposed to it being a player shortage. That's my honest opinion. Like if you look at the top coaches and the bottom coaches and the top teams with the top coaches and how much they spend on their football science, for example, and and the teams like, for example, the yeah. Tigers, right? It's a big difference. Well, well, and Roosters, Roosters built their own academy. But that's so what I mean. And only now... I, I think most NRL sides are it. doing it. Canterbury's getting one happening. I um, heard that. I West heard Tigers that. have one. St. George is getting one. I think maybe only Cronulla will be lacking one the way things are going. I mean, they, they copped shellacking to the Dolphins, which I loved. I loved seeing yeah, the Sharks. That was very lose. surprising. It was such a good game from the Dolphins. I hate the though. Sharks, I'm not going to lie. I like the Sharks. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Sharks. I used to play for them. I used to play for them. Someone that played for them. I'm not a fan of them. Don't like how they operate. Yeah, just they changed the whole operation. I'm just not a fan of them. Probably the riots. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, (laughs) that's a controversial (laughs) subject. (laughs) (laughs) Very controversial. (laughs) (laughs) I like Nico Hines. I think I love Hines. Hines is mad. Oh, I like their fullback, Will Kennedy. He's awesome. I played him in this one. He's definitely a huge two point oh. He's so good. Kennedy. What about um Big Valens Tafare? Oh, that was a that was a good battle. Him and Talakai. That right. was that was it was like the, that was tap. the play like the actual thing of the whole weekend. It was it yeah. was yeah. just yeah. him scoring yeah. those tries. Did you see that? He's played footy for years, wasn't he? Bro, yeah, that's you, right. He's a groundskeeper you know, at the Dolphins. You know what? what's funny? What I've do you got, mean? I've Apparently got Wayne Bennett just said come training and stuff. We got because he used to play rugby union. Wow. Yeah, I remember seeing uh, Valence in the trials. He looked very raw. Got this mate called he's a Storms fan. I'll mention him again. He acts like he's an expert. His name's Zahe. <laughs> and I actually saved his comments where he said that Talents, uh, Valence Tafara is going to be a failed union experiment. Send him back. <clears throat> and then lo and behold, he absolutely torched him on the weekend. Oh, look, he, he was quiet for two hours. Then he recovered. and He became lippy again. Yeah. You know, one hit, but one you know what, Val- Valence Tafari, he had Valence he did that, be unreal. But he had problems in defence. He got like Talakai ran around. Well, he, he, he shouldn't be playing second row. Firstly, he should Sen- be Sen- Sen- no, he, he, or out on the edges. He should be. I reckon he's a perfect middle. Yeah, he's very strong. very powerful he's runner. Really you know who he reminds me of? Um, uh, who was that player? Lenu? Nah, he runs like nah, that. he's a bit steppy. Yeah, he does run like who was the player from Cronulla, the thirteen front rower? Paul Gallen? No, bro. Um, <laughs> he's like a, <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to he was one of the it. Islander guys. Um, not, not. I'm keep thinking of Braden Williami, but it's, it's not a, him. How long? Talakai? No, nah, not Talakai. He played as he plays in the middle. Scored some very, very good tries in the last. Oh, years. Royce Hunt? Not Royce. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Ross. I was about to say, <laughs> sorry, Ross. not you. I know, Royce. 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 I you guys are uh, making my job a nightmare here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> One at a time. Uh, but can can we please I search up that for like, His running style was very powerful. He reminds you of. He can just Bro, barge a, players off. It, he, ran, he runs. His leg drives he runs crazy. Hundred meters in eleven seconds. You know who he reminds That's me nuts. of? He reminds that me of. Far, right? Yeah, that is nuts. His, yeah. his leg drives lightning. nuts. He reminds me of. Do you remember Ayafeta Paliasina? Yeah, 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 yeah. He had oh, quads for days. This guy's similar. That's what I reckon. Anyway, he winds up like Mark Tuki. Palacino was amazing. Oh, he left man, the, he, they should guy. never have let him go. Battering Ram. Battering Ram. I used to love watching his highlights. Oh, I'd watch him as well back in the days. How you know they? what? You know what I found surprising? The Rabbitohs uh, putting it on the Storm. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but the Rabbitohs. If we, if we remember the last. No, podcast, I tipped them. If we remember the last podcast I was on, I told you Rabbits were going to win the comp. He did. Did you yeah, actually? yeah, he did. I don't think they'll win the comp. My team. Well, that's that's they're going to be in the grand. And you know what? They'll be in the grand. All the, the commentators from both major stations, the Fox Sports and the Channel Nine, are now both saying the experts are saying Souths will be there at the business end of the season. They're both. They've both come out and said they will be in the grand final. They're not saying they'll win it, but they will say they are going to be in that grand if final. If they show up on grand final day, they'll win it. They, they, there's, and Latrell's there's just no come one, out. There's, there's no one. There's no one. Did you see that no, what he did to um, uh, Harry Grant? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's a Regardless, big sook. What do you want me to do? Just lay over and say, Nah, man, no, he's been a sook. Honestly, do you remember when he pushed the pie? I love it. Didn't he, if he gave shit to everyone, it felt good. I remember if I held someone like that, I would give him So what do you want him to do? Be best mates? You gotta be a grub. You're out, there, you're out there in nah. battle. You're out there to milk a penalty or get oh, whatever you can. But he didn't even retaliate. They look. They didn't even do anything. 
Uh, Rabbitohs won't win it as long as Cody Walker's at six. Uh, Rabbitohs won't win the grand final as long as Cody Walker's at six. Cody Walker's amazing on that left yeah. side. Everything Cody. on the left side goes no, through I'm him. Serious. Cody Walker on, on that left side is amazing. Everything goes through him. Alex the Johnson guy, literally the in the last... literally scored and had a hand in every single try. The, the only reason scored. if Alex Johnson breaks that try scoring record, it's I'll say now, is Cody Walker on the left side. Mm. Cody Walker on the left side is the only reason if Alex Johnson breaks that try scoring record, I'll oh, say yeah. now, look at it, it's because of him. Even if he doesn't break it and hits 200 tries, it's because of him. His try scoring record the last three years, I think he scored more than try a game on average. I think Cody Walker's had 30 try assists in the last three years. More. 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 No, I'm saying in every year. I think he's been. I think year. Year. Oh, definitely. I think definitely. He had 20, 26 or something last year. Mister, you, you know, one of in your grand final side. No, I, don't, I, I just don't think he delivers on the big stage. Like they say, yeah, he, he hasn't should, delivered. The last. He should. He should be in the Blues team. I don't think. I don't think he will do very well in the Blues team. He's another Moses. He played pretty well last Good year in the right. Blues when he came on. Mm. Oh, I like Cody I Walker. I don't love to have him. I, I, I don't mind him. Like when team. the chips are down, he just pops up and scores. I, 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 no, I, don't, I just don't think he, play, he performs he in big games. Something. He's like Mitchell Moses. Mitchell Moses is is great throughout the season. Comes to the finals, he just can't perform. People have to carry him. Like I reckon, I don't. I don't think Mitchell mm -hmm. Moses gets carried. I think he's got the whole team playing how he wants them. That. They take all the load off him. He's they've, not there to, to have all the attention on him. He's got everything organised. He's a different type of halfback. They fail to adjust, I think, para. When Mitchell Moses gets shut down, they fail to adjust. Of but, course. But you look but at he's the reason why they get there to the same, business end. But I'll tell you, the, that's the exact same with Cody Walker. Like, um, I do remember last year in most of those big games, um, they always chucked the extra number on his side just to defend it. So they defended their strong side. They got to learn, um, yeah. and then they obviously failed to adjust. Yeah, when they and that's probably not on right him. Side. It's probably on his halves pairing. Yeah, exactly right. So it's and someone getting, like someone Dylan like, Brown like, doesn't Elias, do anything. Elias has improved so much as he's, a player. He's oh, Elias, I'm, so I understood that. So, but I'm saying he's improved so much oh, as a player. So I feel so like to see I feel like a lot of improved. teams won't be able to do oh, that. I feel maybe he's giving up tries as well. And I've stuck up for Mitchell Moses a lot. I feel he gets a lot of unfair treatment from fans, not as much from the media. Dylan Brown escapes a lot. No, like, no, hang on a second. You look at when Mitchell Moses went off against the lot. Titans, right? Dylan Brown absolutely went nuts. That's great. I mean, if he's starting, that's good. But it's one when, game. Yeah, but as soon as Mitchell Moses was off, Dylan Brown was in control and he went nuts. He and destroyed the Titans. And right? it's good. He put his hand up. But yeah, we're talking about... The thing with Dylan we're talking Brown in, is, in years gone he's, by. He, he's, got, he's got such great footwork and he's got such a strong running game. Yeah. Um, I feel like he should be that guy that does receive the ball like a Cody Walker and runs first. He's got a demand um, if he can If he can run yeah. first off the back of someone like Mitch Moses, I feel like he owes that to Mitch Moses at least. Mitch is a lot older than him and he probably wants to play that He's got to step role. up more. Um, Brown should just be a full hands-on yeah. runner and he's got a great... Look, it might work in their favour. After Moses went off, Moses might take note and say, okay, he might yeah, sit down with might, the coaches. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I, I mean, mean they're, missing, they're missing money, though. Definitely, they're missing their, uh, his delivery yeah. from the oh, definitely. Hodgson yeah. yeah. should retire now, I think. Yeah, I think he's past Hodgson's it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Hands should take over. Hodgson go back to England, probably get, get a retirement. Because usually he'll probably get a thing over there. What do they call it? Man of Steel over there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Kyle Flanagan should go to England. <laughs> he'll get Man, he'll get man of Steel <laughs> three you know, years I'm in Kyle a row. Flanagan, <laughs> hey, hang on a sec. Kyle Flanagan's been playing hooker in the reserves. And he's killing it, too. That's his bait. Come on. Seriously. No, what do you mean? Sorry, Kyle. I was <laughs> upset with you know I was upset for Kyle that I was to ask you when did you get your veneers done <laughs> <laughs> I've never so had random. any work done on my teeth ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hand on heart say that. Wow. Congratulations to Harry Matz for winning the, the Canterbury. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Things are on the way up for Canterbury. Yeah, yeah, We're on to the coach. <laughs> what, did they win a game? They, they won the title. Matches. No, no way. way. Yeah. Well, they haven't won in a while. Well, there you go, man. That's it. At least it's something to celebrate like about, eh? Kendra started like that. Yeah, yeah. Harold Matz, and then last year they won... Well, Not only this week you two got is you want you're thinking success this year. He's thinking about three years basically. I'm not. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm thinking. That I don't they will, agree. They will it'll be, be this year. I was saying next year. You're saying three years. I mean, you've made your points, and you could you backed yourself up. So, and you could be right. I just thought their success would come a bit more quicker. Tavita Pango Jr. I just thought their what's success would come a bit more Tavita quicker. Pango, That's yeah. the only difference. Yeah. I'm not disputing what, what he's saying. I think. You know, he's got a different opinion on certain players. Um, he's focusing more on the negatives, maybe, on in regards to TPJ. Yep. I, I think he off, comes on. He offers a lot of energy. I still reckon they should invest in another forward. 
Yeah, look, I the, thing, boys, yeah. the thing with Tevita Pangai Jr., I'll tell you why. He's like an enforcer. He's not your leader. I mean, yeah, he, he, how, how much How much is he on? Is oh, we like don't know, and I don't, I don't want to speculate. Hey, uh, okay, okay. Uh, this is... And the, uh, it's got nothing to do with... 800K, is that the figure uh, Whatever, out? whatever it is. That's what I'm trying figure, to say yeah. is Payne Haas was on that much. He probably is still on that much, and now he's offered. He's asked is for he a little bit contract? more. No, I think they re-signed him. No, but anyways, that... You're paying two players the exact same money. One is probably the best prop to ever play in RL, ever. Hands down. There's, yeah. there's literally I've never seen anyone that does what Payne Haas does yeah. with his workload. And if you want, and I can understand Every, why everyone, everyone, everyone went crazy when Paul Gallen played 80 minutes in Origin one year. Yeah. Paul, it Payne cost Haas, New South Wales eight series. And <laughs> Payne Haas, because he kept hogging the ball. Payne Haas is literally doing that every Kick single him. week. I think this is the first time we actually enjoy Walters as coaching because he's kind of giving him a breather that he deserves. Yeah. Um, Amount of time. I know we've been we've been saying that for three years. On the weekend, sixty yeah. minutes, all right. That's I mean, that's, twenty. Less, that's, 20 that's twenty less than what he's been doing, but. Like, I think that's the difference in caliber of players. Like his uh, impact's more more telling now. He's his offloads. Do you remember that game? Now. That ball, time he got against West Tigers, he ran twenty meters through about four. Could have probably went under ten. Took the tackle. One more tackle. He, he moved, pushed around a dummy half and literally walked over dummy half and plonked he's it down. So it was scary seeing that. Mm, His yeah. impact's small telling now. So good. They're and gonna he's be, only going to get better. He's still be really young. so hard to beat. Do you Brisbane? think it all comes yeah. down to your fitness? They're going to be so I honestly reckon you need a player, obviously. Yeah. And you can play eight minutes with impact. But I just 60 think that minutes, he's laughing. He's 60 minutes, he's just offering more intensity. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets to sit on the sideline and see how the, the player goes. And it helps him play smarter. You know, like I know Tevita, Tevita, Tevita should be used in similar ways. You know, sometimes Tevita. Don't think Tevita's got sixty minutes. In it. Doesn't play some of his choices on the field. Sometimes we don't, look, I think we don't he have just the luxury. We don't have the luxury that Brisbane. They does. don't have the luxury at the moment. The no. players like Brisbane, yeah, and then you got Flegler, Carrigan. You got Flegler's off the dog. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Red Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins. That's a big, that's big a loss. Big loss. He's a good boy. Dolphins. But so what's his name? They're going to be a very, they're going to be a very hard team to beat. If they make the grand final, I reckon they can win it. They have yeah, the experience. They the they've got the youth. They got the they've got Broncos. Yeah. I reckon they'll buckle. You think they'll buckle? Yeah, of course. Oh, those forwards, man. They don't easily buckle though. No, they'll yeah. make top. Well, those four. Souths made them look ordinary. They'll but make they'll top four. Pain house. But they'll lose two in a row. No pain house, and they didn't have um, the ha- the five feet as well. Ezra, yeah, Ezra he's man, a big yeah. difference. Ezra's I realize. Ezra, man, he's playing out of his skin yeah. this year, man. Is it unreal? Is this first year in the game? Second, second, full year. He's full year strong. Yeah. And he and can tackle. He's everywhere. Yeah, he's great. But that's what I'm saying. Don't he's very you, confident. Imagine you're missing Haas in your five eight. Of course, Rabbits were going to put it on him a little bit. But I think they went in. I went in. I think they went into that game a little bit. Brisbane don't win without Haas. That's for sure. I mean, yeah, definitely not. No, never, you can never replace. It's a big him. hole if, when he's not there. Yeah. But why? Uh, Freddie will choose him as 18th man. <laughs> yeah, we made that joke. For the, since he's been away, I've just kept saying that Freddie's going to have Payne Haas as 18th man. He won't make the squad. Poor choices. Freddie will need a drug. You test. know, and Nico Hines will come in at 19th <laughs> man. He won't make the 17 either. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and I, Lat- I reckon, I reckon and Latrell, Latrell, Hines yeah. and Clary should be hands them. down. Be they want to go over there. Yeah, I think. Anyways, it should be though. Do, would you have Uppy at nine? Up had, I like Damien Cook. I like the two of them. I, yeah. would, I saw yeah, one up in the fourteen. I don't, though. I don't think I don't think any nine should play eighty minutes at origin no. level. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, origin, yeah. It's very hard, especially those kind of forwards running at you up and down. For would you prefer RP starts and Cook comes on? Or yeah, you prefer it the other way. Yeah. Other way, either way. Cook's a good starter. RP's just as good coming off a bench as well. He's got that little X factor yeah. close to the line, but. I feel like Cook is a lot quicker. He's been the difference the last Cook few weeks for the Tigers off the yeah, has been. I, there's a, there was an ma- article that came out. They were talking about Yo and Murray. I personally think Murray should start at lock. I reckon... That, Cameron Murray is I, think, I wouldn't care where Yo plays. I wouldn't even care if he's in, not even in the 17. Really? Murray's... So who would you have as your, as your second row then? Crichton. And D- definitely uh, Olakawatu. Or, or, I wouldn't have Liam Martin there. I love Crichton. Crichton, he will never let you down in a game of football. Oh, he's yeah. a beast. He will Angus Crichton. He is so he strong. Well. He, he just came back. He just came back, two weeks mate. ago. Yeah. You he's, don't think he'll be a little underdone? 
He's not underdone. He's Man, he's a few more player. weeks. I think a few more weeks. Origin, Origin you've got three weeks. He's got a few more Origin's weeks. Origin's two weeks he'll be, away, He'll isn't be primed. Yeah, two, two He'll be away. still fresh what and about, primed. What about Madison from the Eels? No, no, no. no, 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 no way. I don't know how he made the 17 last year. It was a joke, Max. Sorry to say. I look like to him. It was a joke, bro. I mean, we look like to him. We like, no way. And then again, if Payne Haas misses the 18, I can understand why Shout Madison out. makes the Ryan team. Madison. Um, well, Fitless choosing the team I like, again. Yeah, I do like that. I like Murray Olukowatu and... Um, what Croydon. What about Kolamatangi? I do like yeah, Kolamatangi. I, I, I just feel like someone like Olukowatu... Oh, he's a powerhouse. Clearly plays very similar to someone like Cherry Evans when it comes to that ball playing on that right Ola side. Olukowatu's been unbelievable. Like he's, he's he's gonna gonna be in, been and could you imagine him running at someone like Munster all day? I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunity there. I, I, honestly, at Munster and he won't be as effective. I think Olakuatu is in this position. I'll be honest. I think, I think you've got to have Olakuatu, and I don't know if Kolo Matangi is still injured. Does, but you got to have Kolo Matangi in there. He's, he's on the bench, bro. He's been unreal for the Rabbitohs. He's your, been unbelievable. Does your club champion Jacob Preston uh, be a bolter in the seventeen? No, nah, not yet. I'm not even throwing Burden in there because I just think I don't think there's Burden, nowhere in there nah, for him this year. Make it this year. No way. I still would put Turbo in there because we, although he's been playing at fifty percent, we're still three weeks away. So I'd hope there'd be a rapid improvement. You'd Disagree? No, I, I like it, but I, just, I feel sorry for him. I do. Just, yeah, I think I he should just well. rest for the time being. I should. He should have taken. Well. I, I feel like Turbo last year, if he wasn't up to it, I reckon he should have spent a full year in the states. Yeah, and actually got himself. Yeah, he's just rushing this, back. Yeah. He just keeps getting a bit rushed. But but with Troll, yeah. Troll, no, it's been. Trauma's looking is different. Fox out still. For no, he's back this, week. back this week. We'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But he's, he's oh, been yeah, yeah. Fitlow yeah. won't choose him anyway. He had an excuse not to choose him, and now Fitlow's under well, pressure. Well, Tupo's injured, right? And Suwali's playing very average. Suwali's gone. You reckon he'll, be, you're going, he'll go to rugby this year? Yeah, next year. Yeah, no. Were you thinking Suwali might make, make Origin this year? No, no, no. I'm saying what the media oh. was saying is that if it's oh. either Tupo or Suwali, well, do you reckon Fox? Dylan Edwards would have got a run on the wing? Nah. No, you can't have Edwards what on the wing. I don't that? think you can have Edwards on the wing. Hey, it's, I reckon it off you. There's a lot. a lot more than just footy involved if Fox doesn't get picked. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is unfortunate because the so, guy, he's he's the best winger on his day. And oh, he's can, the best you could, finisher. You yeah. can see that in the Kangaroos. Like, if he, he's, he was, uh, he's finishing and is him unbelievable. Outside Latrell would be not. Bro, you can see here. Unreal. You can see the dogs since Adakar has been injured. We've been a different team. What he brings yeah, to a yeah, team, yeah, yeah. what he brings to a team, and I, I remember, do you remember in the first round? I forgot, I uh, had was at the dogs for a while. That's probably why I started, mate. They, hey. might, they might make that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, and the uh, second round, what did uh, Do you remember in the first podcast, Dibbo? Do you remember in the first podcast, I said the out. best yeah. signing yeah. that the Bulldogs made, yeah. get this, yeah? Kick See, you just remember Sorry. kick out. <laughs> What's wrong with you, mate? I don't know what I'm talking about, brother. The Sith Lord has come back from his uh, holiday. So this is Revenge of the Sith. He's come back and he's absolutely laid it bare on Canterbury and he's completely overrided the fact there was no kick out and no out of car. So now he's starting to think that maybe no they Luke might. Thompson. No Brett Sherwin. Oh. <laughs> hey, they won a grand final with Sherwin. So, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Sherwin is incredible. <laughs> but never get this year. Yeah, hey, that, hey, that no forward Marco pack. In the hey, that forward no, pack. You know what? I will say one thing. Everyone um, complains that the Roosters are well over the salary cap. That Bulldogs 04 side was at that least was at least greatest. at least ten million dollars over salary cap. Anyone <laughs> but that forward pack that Canterbury had assembled <laughs> is <laughs> the best forward pack I have Steve ever Price? seen assembled. Yeah, I don't, Steve I don't Price think was one of the best front rowers. The best ever forward the pack game. assembled yeah, ever. I don't, think, yeah. I, I, I don't care what anyone hard says. To beat that forward pack for a very long time. Dogs of all the eighties, no. Brisbane of the nineties, I still think that. You know the only forward pack that I thought. Could one day Brisbane? match the Bulldogs? Brisbane. Is when Brisbane had Tavita Pango Jr. No, Payne no, Haas. No, no, hang no, on a second. No, no, hang on, no, hang on a second. No, no, let me finish. No, no, let me finish. <laughs> I know you can finish because I remember that four pack. I honestly thought you were about to say no, Shane, no, yeah, yeah. Shane Webkey, Seven to Siva. No, no, no. no, 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 no. They had an aging Andrew G as well. Well, I want to hear no, Bro, Bro, Broncos, Glenn they were the stacked. That forward pack was stacked. At, let's look at this forward pack on potential. Yeah, right. I'm talking on potential. Darren Darren potential. Smith. Best back line for me ever was Raiders. That was... In the 94? Yeah, when they had Wiki, um, oh. Mel, Mel Meninga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy fullback. What was his Mullins. name? Mullins. Mullins. They had Gary Belcher before Ga- they had Daly, John Chicka Daly, Ferguson. Daly and Ricky. Oh, oh, man. Right. Chicka Ferguson. John yeah, Chicka Ferguson. Was, Aboriginal. Like him, bro. I thought he played at... Uh... No, he was no, no, no you're talking, I'm talking about different Ferguson. Oh. You're talking no, about no, no, Ferguson. no, 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 no,
No, no, no, no, no. That's yeah, enough. That's no, enough, no, Brendan. No, no. Hey, <laughs> Uh, in regards to that, <laughs> they had no one named Drew Coot, Ken Nagus, yeah, yeah. Jay, Jared Croker, <laughs> the halves of Laurie Daly, Ricky Stewart. Not the current Jared Shush. Croker, the old Jared Croker. That was a $10 yeah, million dollar salary cap in the back line there. But that's what I'm saying. So I reckon Canberra got found this. out to be over oh, the cap, shit. but then got away with it. Oh, I they found that about the, 10 years later. Behind the Reynolds brothers or and not? And Andrew Ryan. Yeah. Rennie Matua, Roy oh, Asatasi, Sonny Bill Williams, Willie O. Mason. Oh, I'm my twin. Sonny Bill Williams. Matt Utah. Yeah. Far out. Just to call me that. Um, but it was a good fourth pack in 04. What a, what, what a team. No, but what was your team you were That saying? was the best I was saying oh, on, on, on potential, yeah. right, when you saw them performing yeah, individually, they right? Had That's how you know they had the best fourth pack. They had Payne Haas. They had Pat Carrigan. Oh, they had man. Tom Flegler. They had, don't forget, they had Offa Hang Gowie. Was they a had, back hang on a second. So we, they had th- Tavita Pango Jr. I think what he's trying to say is if those players... If they now, stayed as one pack... And now, that would be up there. I mean, could you imagine Fafita and Payne Haas together? That, but that's what I'm saying, yeah. right? And then you, you throw in... For example, no, Tavita Pango Jr. Boy, off the bench. That is scary. Do you know what I'm saying? Like scary. that could I Tino. thought. No, but Tina was at Melbourne. No, but Tina started at Broncos though. Did he? Yeah, when he was young. Yeah. No, but he never played first grade for for oh, Broncos. Yeah, he didn't. But no, I played in the junior days. They were he, he debuted together, for Melbourne. Yeah. Tino, didn't all, he? all you need is a great forward pack because if you look at Canterbury's back line, that you tie. Has Although it. very robust, wasn't pacey. Hasn't was slow as well. Ben great Harris. finisher by, by the way. And I'm talking about the centers in the 04. Matt, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had Ben Harris. He was great. Matt Utai, Hasan Masri, Luke Patton, Luke and uh, what? Nigel Wangana. Was Ben Harris your center in the grand yeah. final? Yeah. Oh, Nigel Wangana. Oh, oh, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Willie Tonga. And then your halves were in Asa and Sherwin. And oh, that was good. That was good. Good, good lineup. Not the greatest, but that forward pack. That's scary. Yeah. That is scary. And Jonathan Thurston, everyone forgets he was he was also in oh, that team. Steve he died. Folks, he died. Didn't he? Folks, yeah, yeah, folks, he died. Yeah. yeah. Steve Folks was gone. Yeah. Do you remember? I do remember. What position? He was a current. <laughs> he was also a second <laughs> rower <laughs> when he played. Yeah. I do remember. Good times. I think he's uh, the only Canterbury player that played in those four grand finals. Is this going to be the longest podcast ever? It All is. right, let's move on. <laughs> um, so then we've got next week we've got the Dogs and Warriors Friday at six p.m. Where, this game's in New Zealand. Oh no, sorry, it's in it's Homebush. In, 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 uh, in, in, uh, the Warriors. Do the Warriors get more players back, or they still Warriors play? by eight? Uh, no, only because of Adam Fanua Blake. Are oh, you love him? Do you, you know, know what? what? He's, he, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Honestly, three front rowers in the comp. I'm going to go Canterbury by two because a few factors. They get a few more players back. Who? You know, I'm going to go Canterbury by eight. They get Adam no, Carr back. Oh, it's Fox back. Yeah, Fox back, plus a few forwards. And also, plus, I can feel the steam coming off um, Elmo, right, sitting right next to me. So yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. disappoint him on the way home. So Canterbury by two. Um, I think this will be a very tough game. It'll be a close game. Mm. Uh, it won't. I don't, think, I don't think anyone will get blown off the park. The Warriors are playing very well, and I think they were very hard done by last week against the Panthers. I don't been think they would have won. a few times this I don't year, think they would have won, but they were very hard done by, and they played better than the scoreline. Even though it was, they only lost by 12, yeah. I thought it was a lot closer yeah. than that. Um, Parents are flat. Having said that, I do think that Seraldo will have them up for this game. Yeah. Adokar coming back will give the boys a boost. Um, Kiraz being there, Averillo being there. I think Paul Alamotti is a lot more confident when Fox is by his side yeah. and he plays a lot better if you look at he Alamotti him, Fox, Fox helps him out a lot, lot. Can tell he talks to him a lot. and, and uh, you can tell that Fox is more comfortable alongside uh, Alamotti than he was alongside Shop because Shop was a hog and he always wanted to be the hero whereas Alamotti is happy to let Fox be Fox and pass the ball to him he doesn't want the accolades he just wants to give the ball to Fox as Either. much as he can and and that worked very well because Fox had scored you know three or four tries um my only my only concern going to this honestly is the the whole chopping and changing halfway through the game with Josh Reynolds and Carl Oluwapu? I think that's affecting our team more than it should you be. You know, what annoys me. Like at the end of the game, and honestly, Reynolds offers garbage, and then you get Canterbury fans coming out and saying, "Oh, he had a great first half." Like, dude, he either lost his, his he was non-existent in that second half. He was lost because of him. He, or, was the, he was on the bench in the second half. He played. He didn't. He only played ten minutes in yeah, the second half. Yeah, but like even in that first half, like what's he done? Like he set up a couple of tries. He set up a, he set up a kick that could have went anywhere. Okay. I think Williams. Um, mm. I'll be honest with you. But I, if he doesn't come on in the second half, is that because it's his inability to play out the whole game, or what's going on there? Uh, I don't. Look, I don't see. It. I don't see why he's even there. I think that Seraldo is trying to ease Aloapu in. 
I think just rip the bandaid off, put him at six, and have some have either another another forward on the bench or have another uh, I don't, an impact player on the bench. Just don't stop protecting Carlo Loapu. He like, doesn't need that. I've seen him play. He defends well. He has a dig. And, and Bennett, I think he's like, ready. Look at Bennett with Isaiah Katoa at the Dolphins. He's like, you know what? We've got Milford, but we're not going to put Milford. Katoa's I'm, your leading playmaker now. He's, 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 he's played well on the weekend. That was good to see. Yeah. Mm. Who? Um, Katoa, Nicarima. Oh, Nicarima. yeah, yeah. They played uh, you very know what? well. I was great. actually very happy to see Milford, Milford and yeah, Nicarima. Yeah, Even Nicarima awesome. play well because Did Milford play? they are really, yeah, honestly, yeah. they are really better well. than like their last few years. Yeah, they're playing. Oh, really it's well, been yeah. injuries and God K- knows what. Katoa and Marshall King's unreal. That's oh, Marshall King's Marshall uh, King's yeah. And we saw it last year at the Doggies and, you know, when he signed with the Dolphins. You know what? He, he would have been a good 5 eight for you guys. But no one ever gave him the chance. That's the problem. No one ever gave him the chance. Do I think he would have made? Would have done a can't, good. You can't put it on Sorrell though. It was the management no, no, before. Of course, I'm no. saying he might have been a good. good I reckon he would have been good. good. Yeah, I reckon he would have been good. But but my point is, <clears> I <throat> think that Sorrell should just bite the bullet, put Alo up at six. You know, you can have Reynolds at, at fourteen to come on to in case injuries happen or whatnot. That's yeah, fine. Course. But just have one person at six, one person at seven for the whole game. I think that's that helps keep dogs some consistency. By. I'm gonna say dogs by six. Dogs by. Now oh, Warriors will win this one. By. What about plus thirteen? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, I actually oh, do. That's fair point. I just felt the same go do. up a notch. So. No, I, I actually mean, do. Um, the but, heat's gone up a bit. It's not offensive, I mean. Yeah. Put the aircon on there. Yeah, yeah. The heat's gone up. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing? I think. Look, I think. Ray- a bit tight, I it? think uh, Raymond Fatala Mariner needs to needs to start performing because honestly, this year he's only played one good game, and that was against the Dragons. How's Marnie been going for you guys? Oh, he's he's kicked already like five forty four uh forty Look, twenties. He's been playing good. He's like kidding Marnie. it, man. Look, he hasn't. He's been playing good. He's uh, not his enough. Commentary is not. It's been good. a mixed bag. <laughs> not he hasn't enough, played. Dr- no, he hasn't had any bad games. He's had good games, and then is he struggling to set up tries from dummy half? He's no, had some games up. where he wasn't as influential as he hoped. That's that's how I've seen. He's had a mixed bag. He's had games where he's tried too hard. But you know what? You can't. You They've been short on forwards. forwards yeah. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I mean, kick out would be great. You need bro. forwards that bend the line, that penetrate. So the kick out made a big difference. Like yeah, it, it, just, not just in attack, that was it bad. was in defense. What, what's going on? Like uh, the players keep getting injured at training. So what, what's wrong with kick out at the moment? He picked uh, he tore his pick. Oh, he's out for the season. He's what out around twenty two. Ooh, I hope wow. he comes back earlier. Man, strained. Nah, twenty two is a long time. Strain. No, yeah. he tore his pick muscle. Is there any point in getting him back for the last five rounds? I wouldn't. Not if if they're not, not in the finals, hunt, I wouldn't well, even bother. Yeah, if we're not in the finals, hunt, I think just give him give him the rest of the year off. But he's only played four games for us. I mean, that, I mean get him ready for next year. Nine games. Yeah, that, that, like it's not going to matter. You want to get no, but that's my point. Stuff. He's only played four games. If we're not in the hunt for that, why would you risk him? No, you shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But like it, but if we're doing well, Crichton's coming back next year, and I'm assuming he's your fullback. I hope he's our fullback. I mean, oh, he will be your fullback. I mean, you know, what do you do with Perrin then? You know, like drop him. Time to go to sleep. You know. um I know he's got a bit of money to spend. I know the media is reporting Jack Bird and um, uh, Jaden Saw are discounted. Whether that's true or not, do you, do you, do, does your club go for them? Is there any value in getting them? Oh, uh, not for big money, but you will have them in your team any day of the week. I reckon, yeah, Especially they could have. Bird. Bird's a bit oh, I'd love to see Bird leave. Yeah. Honestly, I would keep Saw and I'd let Bird go. Oh, you don't like Bird? No, I don't think he's. Either he needs Bird? a new team. He's not. I don't think he's offering as much as at the Dragons. It just feels like he runs oh, sideways. Palms off three or four players, makes two meters, and gets tackled. I think. Look, I think he's not as influential as I thought he'd be. Jaden Sua, he's he's making things happen for the Dragons. I can understand why he's disgruntled because I don't think he's getting enough support from the other forwards. He's there making breaks, setting up tries. Who did you guys play on the weekend? I West Tigers. Game. Yeah, I watched that. And Jaden Sua set up that first try. I remember that. And he was in actually. position to either set up the second try or the last try or score it himself, and they ignored him. Something weird happened in the last seconds. Yeah, yeah. Sully didn't pass the ball to his winger. I don't blame that on Su- Sully. No, I blame no, it on no. whoever threw the cutout pass that cut out four players, including Sua. And the ball could have, should have just went through the hands. I would have scored in the corner. That was a potential win. You know, or Sully either... Or the players just watched Sully run at the line and didn't follow him up. Sully had no choice. But he had, Re- he had Revelau outside him. You know what stuff that it was the cutout pass before to Sully? I don't know. That he, was he bad. Clearly, he, could, he should have just gone You know what? I, I know everyone's saying Hook's not getting the results. Maybe the players aren't gelling with him, but well, some of those brain-dead players in that team, they made him look worse than... Yeah, 
hooked into the hook. He does. I'm not saying, but I'm saying the players, some of those players have cost we're, him a couple of wins. We're still trying to figure out how he's shifted a right side centre to the left we side. We said again. that from the start of the year. Yeah. Do you remember we spoke about, I reckon, find me anywhere that's, that anyone that picked it up, but on this podcast, I reckon, or even before the podcast, we picked up that Suli and, and Lomax are playing on the, on the wrong side, side yeah, and yeah. we realised Lomax didn't have the use of... His fin. His, his left hand, hand fin. and then the flick out the right. That's what he looked And we, yeah, we called, review all our podcasts. Now everyone's come online making out they picked all, up on it. No. We picked up on it, honestly, I think it was the first, the first week. Podcast. Second or, or first or second podcast. Watch our podcast, we picked up on it. It was the third week. That's right. And yeah. now everyone's online making I out it was their that. opinion. It's like, I'll dude, tell I you, even him. I, no, 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 he I actually meant, him I was the first one yeah, to actually mention it about when I was talking on this about podcast. It. No, he was even giving I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you why. I remember someone like the Sweet Tonga Licky Licky. He was the exact same player for and us, and you brought that up. And as I well. brought that up as well. And he was the best left hand fender you yeah. will ever see. He was amazing. And yeah. the moment I went, he went to Gold Coast. They moved him to the other side, and he was still holding the ball in that hand. Ineffective as a center. If you're holding the ball on your right, inside shoulder. Yeah. You're naturally just going to get hit on that yeah, every time, you and that you can't way. like fend over like that. Mm. And um, we said the exact same thing about Lomax, but I almost feel like Hook kind of did it on purpose because he wanted to get that flick out of Lomax's game, mm. and it's kind of ruined him completely. He can't even get goals. Okay, anymore. but the experiment after a couple of weeks, you think okay, this is yeah. that's what I'm saying. Hook needs the hook. <laughs> like hook out of here. What? Like I'm I'm being serious. <laughs> well, I I got a feeling. I got a feeling, feeling with Hook if he likes you. He'll play out because somehow Little went into the reserves. Oh, and by how did these coaches keep getting jobs? Yeah, and, and seriously. And by, and they, by they, they leave first. They leave one team for being shit house, and then they go to another club yeah. and go shit house, and I, then they go back to another club. You know what it is? It's like, it's like it's like it's like a cult. Yeah, it's yeah. like the Illuminati up in the coaches. It's box. jobs for mates. <laughs> they all they all just get job mates. Illuminati. You heard it here first. <laughs> but honestly, I think it's I think it's like the Fox Sports. Uh, we'll, um, we'll have the rivals link down below for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, I, I, honestly, it's a lot of it's. Uh, you know what? I actually remember. Do you rem who was that uh, old um, Dragons coach? That Which was one, awful. Mary McGregor? Yeah, McGregor. That and was it, all nepotism, and, and forget it's the same about thing it. Here. He went from being the Water worst boy. coach in Dragons history. I don't know if that's the case, but he was pretty bad when I was watching it. And then he ended up being New South Wales Origin ah. assistant. Yeah, you no, know, he's right, and Parramatta assistant as well. It's but, all nepotism. Hang on a second. Trent Barrett has a win rate of 20% as a first grade coach. He's probably a the same, coach he's a probably probably has the same as a player. Now. But <laughs> what a. <laughs> That's <laughs> not wrong. Uh, but all, well, all I'm saying is we said there wasn't enough good players to have seven, 18 teams. There's got to be some good coaches out there. Oh, and no. if, they're, if they're not in this country, we right. should be able to find no, them. Because it's all nepotism. It's, it's, you know, who you know. Where's Mary now? He's holding the water for the New South Wales State of Origin team, and, and he's also the holding the side. clipboard for um, Brad Arthur yeah, at the Parramatta Eels. So anyway, anyway, back to the Dogs and Warriors, right? You, what's your call? What are you? How? What are you calling? The only reason I do like the Warriors only because of how good they've been playing. Yeah. Um, the confidence they would have got from putting up a fight against the Panthers. Uh, back-to-back -back premier yeah. side um, it's just going to help them and i feel like they would have walked away from that game feeling as though they got robbed by the refs um, if that doesn't give you guys a little bit more confidence it's going to be very hard for someone like the dog i still don't think the dogs have a forward pack to win games just yet i feel like um the warriors do they have some very very strong forwards it's Look, gonna it's gonna be very hard to kind of this, 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 no one black comes off I mean, Fanor Bla Fano 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 Blake can play Bang. 80 minutes. Tumungus, and we've seen him play 80 Tumungus minutes. Out. Jazz is, is out. Yeah, Jazz is out. He's, uh... Wade Egan, Bunty Afoa. Yeah, Bunty Afoa. And Tohu yeah. Harris doesn't stop. Yeah. I mean, it's, he doesn't miss tackles. Like I, I no, no, like no, I'm, I'm hard I'm, done I'm, by the Warriors I, I here, that, but... Eh? I feel like I've hard done by the Warriors here after hearing that forward pack. No, it's a great forward... And the thing is... I think just Canterbury's at home, they might get it. And then yeah. and then Dallin and Montoya's just Montoya's been playing excellent he's ever since. Yeah, yeah. I was so happy Some, when he left the Bulldogs, but seeing how he's been playing, but he, he's sometimes he's playing just huge in a new leaders. environment. That's Look, what it is. The thing is, Montoya came through the doggies, and, and the biggest one for me this year is I think Chance is so much to Nickel. prove now that um, Rogers yeah, coming back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's never going to lose a spot in NRL side. Uh, he'll just push straight back into centre next year, or, uh, wing, yeah. or wing wherever he wants. I think they said they want to keep Chance at fullback and maybe. Put RTS in the No, centers. they'll never move Roger from fullback. But I'm sorry if he's coming back. In, in saying that, regardless what they do, they can 
skip yeah. time between the two. It's not going to matter. But exactly, I'm just saying, someone like Chance is never going to let the Warriors down. He's amazing, honestly. Yeah, he's, awesome. he's he's you know they say all oh, nice guys in footy. I reckon Chance is one of the nicest guys in rugby. And he's so good. He's excellent. He's defensively is unbelievable. But Ger- generally, Polynesians are. Not yeah, I German, agree. You know. Like when Raiders, when when uh, Warriors let's, signed, let's, let's, let's mute Debo for the next five minutes. <laughs> Let's 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 meet Brandon as well, just for the sake of it. No, all Polynesians are like that. Yeah. I mean, every every race has got good and bad. I mean, we're not all terrorists, Debo. You know what? If you had to basically meet this guy and judge a whole race of him, you're just gonna think the worst of the worst. Yeah, don't don't judge all Aussies off this guy. Yeah, and don't and, and don't judge all Aussies off the Cronulla riots, Debo. I don't know how this became a political podcast. Honestly, I'm, anyway. I'm not. I'm not sure what Omar it's and uh, Brandon saying, are on tonight. He's like, oh, all Polynesians are nice guys. I, I, I know a few that are. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this morning. <laughs> you know, you know, also has been playing very well for the Warriors. Honestly, Dylan Walker. I think Dylan Unreal. Walker's been coming Unreal. off the bench Unreal. and Unreal. tearing teams up. I like that. Dylan. Like my 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 fear for the Bulldogs is, um, we don't have enough variety in attack in our second row. Like Corey Waddell and Raymond Fatala Mariner are, t- are way too dimensional. They just don't have enough. Like you, 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 they just go in there. They make the tackles. There's there's no getting over the advantage line. There's no breaking tackles, and Preston is still too young to sort of put that pressure on him. Um, I think Max King's been excellent for us. I think to you know TPJ's been good for us, but he hasn't been the game breaking player that we need him to be. That's why I think. That's where we, I think we're struggling. But do I think that we've got the attack in us? If you remember back to the first few rounds that the, the Doggies played and even, you know, um, beginning of the Eels and the Rabbitohs match, I do think we have the flair in us to cause some damage. I don't know I don't know if we can continue to show that after the week we had against the Raiders, but I think the Dogs will be up for this one. I do think the Dogs will want to come <coughs> back and make up for a poor performance against the, the Raiders. I hope, I hope so. The Absolutely. It'll be it'll be a close game. It's not, I don't think that. No, it won't be a I think, blowout. I don't. I don't think any team like, and and these teams generally have a lot of respect for each other. I find like they they they're always good contests. Dogs always always, good always they always step up to um, first each other. I, I'm calling dogs by six, but I can understand if you're calling a Warriors win as well. Yeah, honestly. I'm calling Warriors. I'm, yeah, I just I'm, I just feel like um, their forward pack is just fucking they're yet to be blown away. The Warriors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. They've had some really good games against some good. Yeah, this is the Friday night game again, eh? At 6 p.m. She's three games in 11 days and they get the Friday night game again. It's ridiculous. That's just three games help. for dogs Friday night? I mean, that's No, I'm talking about the Warriors. A, they have a heavy yeah. schedule load. Um, positive and they're away from like home the again, don't forget. I, look, I agree. I, look, I, honestly, are they staying here or are they going back home? Well, they're here now. I don't think they've gone back yeah, home. Yeah, how, how does that happen? Did they stay here or did they go back home? They when usually you? just come to Sydney and probably stay here for a few did, days. Did, did they go back home or did they... Uh, well, I'll give them a call. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, you want you there? <laughs> yeah, I, I think nah, I, when did they last play? Sunday? Yeah. So they played on Sunday yeah, and they're Friday. playing on Friday. They probably would have stayed. Heavy schedule load, they honestly. They could potentially go home on Monday and come back on Wednesday. Sure. Potentially just no. to see family. Maybe. Sure. Yeah, it's not a big flight. I mean, it's three oh. hours. Or I don't know if they'd want to stay here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then pre- play, play Friday. Friday. It's probably not sometimes they're here for three games. They might just fly back. I mean, it is about a three, four hour flight. No, yeah, but I, I think, think I think they might fly. They'll probably fly. Or they could do one better and go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at home. That should bring the Concorde and flights then fly back. In on yeah. Two hours, I'll be in New Zealand. Yeah. That's how fast I, they I'm used not sure to go. if they've Concords. flown back, but I think. Um, you know, after what the Warriors did for the Rugby League and the NRL, I think that we should have given them a season where they got to stay in New Zealand. I think, the, yeah. I think yeah. the NRL should have said, okay, season 2023, the year. Warriors play every game at home. I think the Warriors deserve that and more. That Honestly, like, for what the what the Warriors did for the NRL, you know, it, during COVID, they were away from their families mm. for a year. That was hard. And, they, you know, they were away from their country. They were away from their home. They were training in Queensland. Then they were training in New South Wales. And they were moving. Like, and the NRL gave them, like, a rubbish uh, draw, right? Or rubbish schedule. Or like, have two magic rounds, one in Australia, one in New Zealand. Give the one in New Zealand. No, but that doesn't benefit New Zealand as much as them having a season in New Zealand. I don't think it would have been hard for for the NRL to say, okay, I reckon, this is how we're going to schedule it. I reckon if they had an Eden Park over three days, they would sell it every single day. Like Without We're not doubt. talking 35,000 Ains like you know, we saw at Suncorp. We would talk about 60,000 every day sold out. Well, the average at Suncorp for this Magic Round was over 45,000. 
for oh, all three days. It looked yeah. like there was 20,000 at each day. No, so, man. That's because no, it was 40, raining. That no, day was raining. That's why people left. 45,000 is a sellout. And that's a sellout, yeah. No, 53,000 is a sellout. Oh, they had 45 people. I, I, I swear I saw like 20,000 empty seats there. Every day. I'm just I going saw. based off the... Um, based on what the NRL told you. No, <laughs> League Unlimited, um, the report. Yeah, I, I honestly think they didn't sell as much you know, as... But you know, honestly, have, Eden get, Park in New Zealand will be yeah, a seller gonna, every day. Get, um, Eden Park? On, and the Kiwis. Like the old yeah. 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 Hey, tick yeah. tick. They all think, you know what, we got all what three, like, 16 sides. I have to get tick tick on speed dial. tick tick uh, uh, all right, all right. Let's roll on through let's this. Roll on. Um, I don't think anyone else. I don't really think we care about any of the other rounds. So I think uh, we'll end the podcast no, there. No, let's get for all. <laughs> <laughs> Storm Broncos Thursday night. Broncos by eight. Broncos by eight. Yeah. Broncos by twelve. Debo. I'll go Broncos by fourteen. Yeah. I'm going Storm by twelve. Storm. Storm. <laughs> Storm calls Debo. <laughs> Uh, Panthers Roosters Friday night. Panthers. Yeah. Oh, you know what? They've both been under. They're both under, yeah, yeah, they're 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 aren't good. I'm no. a, I'm, I'm gonna go either team by two. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Two under, like, they're both been like poor, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Panthers by eight. Where yeah. they? I'm where gonna go Panthers by twelve. Are they playing a SFS? Where they're the playing? Uh, I think it doesn't really SPS. affect Panthers <laughs> where they play these days. There's whether they I rock up. Think, I they're playing Panthers. Might have to step. Yeah, Penrith. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Penrith by eight. I'm going Penrith by thirteen plus. Yeah, Penrith. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, but yeah, they're Penrith both being 12. ordinary both sides. Rabbitohs and West Tigers. Uh, West no. Tigers thirteen plus. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jokes. As much as I want to, I've got, I've got I want so many mates that love it. Yeah. 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 We to talk shit um, I'm gonna go South by twenty. I think. Yeah, they're just going even more maybe. I mean, if you look at West Tigers' last few wins, the opposition put like 10 tries. Them. It yeah. wasn't, was it Sullivan? Who was your guy that came off the bench, scored two tries? Yeah, Sullivan. Sullivan. Sullivan yeah. Oh, right, look at that. And defense. they blew a few tries, and the week before, Penrith probably nah. blew 10 or 20 tries as well. So Yeah, yeah. I'd definitely Rabbitohs. Rabbitohs by plenty. 20, yeah. I'll go on 20. Yeah. I, don't, I could be even more. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if Rabbitohs come in a bit and complacent. B- and blow them away by 40 still. I think Cody Walker down that left there is going to just... I just reckon Latrell's just going to tear into them. They just they won't be able to handle Latrell. How about by 30? I'm saying 13 plus, so whatever. Uh, it's a, it, it's an a uh, actual stadium, so Rabbitohs home game. <clears throat> yeah. Cowboys, Dragons. Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. Up in North uh, Queensland. Cowboys by Cowboys. Cowboys, Cowboys, go Cowboys will go on a run now. I'm going to go Cowboys by 16. Cowboys will go on a run now. Yeah. They got that one win, especially against the Roosters. Cowboys yeah, by 16. Yeah, they'll go on a run. Yeah. Cowboys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dragons are just languishing Brandon? very bad. I think Dragons by four. Oh what! It's oh, not. A, it's up in North Queensland. Yeah, I think Dragons by four. That's it. Just, just come just out of the blue. Jaden Saw is going to have a big game. Yeah, yeah, my cousin, Ma- Ma- Mary's not coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Raiders Eels. Ah, uh, Eels. Kerrigan. Yeah. Oh, Mitchell Moses is out. Maybe Dylan Brown. Here's your time, mate. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to go Canberra by four. They beat them earlier this year. They'll beat them again. Yeah, I'm going to go Canberra by twelve. The weak gutted dog playing. Bloody Canberra's gone on a run. Canberra's gone on a winning streak. Winning streak. Yeah, it's three in a row. No, like four in a row. Is, Rick, is Ricky going to go off That's again after the press conference? The sticky raw. Yeah, he's going to go off. Is he going to cry again? Is he gonna cry? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know why you. Is, he, is he going to tell the whole world he wishes the son was like Jared Croker? <laughs> 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 no, no, you, guys are, you guys are. Harsh. You guys are. Harsh. Uh, you know what it is. We're bad today. You know, I'll tell you what it is. I'll, I'll be it's coffee. It's a coffee. I've been away for a while. And you that, that's my podcast. excuse. He's yeah, just enjoying he's, himself. Too that's much. my excuse. He's, he's just thinking about the podcast. Yeah, I do love the podcast. Welcome, Sydney. Not gonna lie, it's a great podcast. But I feel like um, you met up this we we've been we've <laughs> been, been was, we, we've was, been was, we've been a little bit easy on all these guys. Uh, we we we, we yeah. pay a lot of our hard earned money to make sure these guys perform week in week out. He's Surely we can be a little bit harsh, especially especially the coaches. He was he was trekking the valleys of Bun City and he was thinking about them. He's thinking about how I'm going to stick it to these guys when um, I get back. Um, uh, I mean, if you, you know what, we get comments every week after a podcast. Let us know what you guys think. I mean, if you guys think that we were too harsh tonight, please let me know, oh, and, I uh, <laughs> and I won't change. And I won't change. So then, Sunday Knights and Titans. Titans. Uh, Knights probably will miss this game. I think they're still in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, let's just say 
Who are they playing? The Titans. Yeah, by forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, um, you know, that's telling. They're going to get absolutely walloped. This I, think, I think Knights. You know, you know what's funny? Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, it could backfire so easily on Phil Good, right? Because he's the one that said he'll never let a team go away if they were performing. They like went that. away, didn't they? Yeah, you know they'll what? probably come back and they win. They'll probably come back and win. Newcastle got roasted by other codes in Australia. So the AFL came out and roasted them. The rugby union came out and roasted them. Oh, Everyone the just... AFL doing what they're doing in the cubicles doesn't matter. You know, oh, please, man. Don't worry about yourself, <laughs> yeah, please. please, man. Yeah. Oh, I want to spin the year in Bali and do what they were doing. In the cubicle. Fuck Dave, bro. In the cubicle. In the cubicle. Get the NRL. Here he Are goes. Just come, out swinging, please. just come out oh. swinging for the NRL. That's what they needed. I like it. I like it. Oh, oh, just come out swinging. He likes it. He likes it. He likes it. Oh, Take that, AFL. Not welcome here, not welcome here. The, the NRL enforcer, here he is. Oh. I like that. Genji's going to love you, bro. Uh, uh, last game of the round, Seagulls and Sharks. Sharks got to bounce back. I reckon Sharks by 40. Behind is with Delhi. Where's his game? Points. Uh, I think... It's at uh, Four Pines Park, yeah. So is Turbo going to start running the freely or is he still on one link? <sighs> Even if he does, I just don't think that... Hines has to show up. They can't do what they did against... Um, what do you call it? I, re- I reckon they went in a little bit complacent against the Dolphins. I'll go Cronulla by 14. Yeah. I reckon Cronulla by plenty. I think Hines yeah, needs to bounce back because he was a no-show I, I against Dolphins. I just don't Dolphins. think that um, Seagulls have the defensive tenacity they don't to have keep enough. up. The, I, I don't Overachieving. Know. I, you know, like... Can you put up their side? I actually have never... Um, Paid too much attention to. I know what their backline is. They're usually pretty. So Some it's Trebovic, Sarr, heat up today. Parker. Yeah, I can feel the heat. Right? Especially John's after somebody Evans. talked down Canary. <laughs> oh, oh, it was brutally honest. He started good. <laughs> I thought it was brutally honest. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I, he backed up his opinion. So yeah, I don't know. I think um, like Jason Saab and Brad Parker, they just can't defend. Well, Brad, Parker's Brad Parker's. Brad Parker's been playing ridiculous. They let Moses Sully go to keep Brad Parker. So yeah, yeah. They, like Jason Saab, he's got the speed and he's a good finisher, but he cannot defend for his life. Like that's where teams just target the Manny Seagulls and they just score try after try after try. And look, Jason Saab, when he's um a main attacker such as Turbo and DC are going good. That's when he's a real asset. He's just there to, f- to use his pace to finish off. Manly haven't had a very good side in a long time. No, of course not. No. DC has been they haven't had a good side in DC about a decade. DC has been worth every single dollar for that side. Of course, oh, he's, he's, he's been he's, carrying. Yeah, he's definitely carrying. But you would say that because you play golf with him, man. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> Did you play golf with him? He just ruined his whole reputation. Let's just run that to the ads, and we'll be back. <laughs> 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 uh, no, no, I know a good player when I see one. Yeah, they, look, they see he'll be number seven for. I mean, there's a reason why he's a at team the back end of his career. Manly don't do well, and he's first picked for Queensland every other. Uh, he'll year. be, he'll be the captain, and he'll again. be first picked yeah, again. Yeah. Do you think DC will go? How old is he now? Thirty four this year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, what if he gets another contract? He'll continue playing for do Queensland until he leaves. Yeah. Do you reckon he's? Do you reckon he'll be at Manly till 36, 37, like what Des Hasler and Cliffy Lyons are? I he, think so. He is scary fit. He's, he's in good he shape. He's manly he at the is, moment. And he, the, bro, he the, can run. The only thing going wrong for him is his receding hairline. Other than that, he's doing quite well. Yeah. Even that's trying to go away from him. There's a lot of little cuts in there, so I hope the editing team's all right today. Oh, uh, with that, I think before we cause any more trouble... Um, I want to thank Dibbo, Omar, and Brandon for joining us on the podcast no one's today. No shutting down this podcast, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jason Riles inside scoop. Jason Riles at the Dragons inside scoop. Oh, uh, he's coming back to play. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about the Dragons. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Thanks for having me. Um, it was lovely to have you boys. It was a big, big laugh today. Thanks for coming on. There's a lot, lot, lot of chatter, a lot of, a lot of laughs, a lot of happiness. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you do watch this, uh, if you get this far, please be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to have much more coming up. Um, thank you for tuning in, for the support. Have a good one. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs>